Hello everyone, my name is Regil Barnos and this is your Meerkat Minute. Today I would you know, like to introduce you to EFD uh, zooming in SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. Now basically what it does entails, for instance, if you've got an overall analysis of say a PCB board and you are only interested in the heat flow over a part but you don't want to mesh it uh, with a refined mesh you can do the overall analysis. In this case, they've inserted a heat dummy sink uh, in the overall analysis and you're interested in that part only. Now you can go and set up, say for instance, another analysis where you create a smaller uh, enclosure or subdomain with heat sinks with more detail. And for instance, another example, you can go and set it in a different configuration to see what the heat flow over that part specifically will be. Now, first of all, you solve the overall analysis of normal boundary conditions. And then secondly, you create a smaller uh, domain or computational domain, which will only focus on that part. In that project, you can go or navigate, for instance, to uh, conditions and insert or insert transfer boundary conditions or you can go to tools flow simulation insert transfer boundary conditions and since i've already set up one here i'm just going to edit the definition to show you what you do is you go and set up or define the boundary conditions in this case you want to transfer the ambient boundary conditions on that uh, computational domain, so in this case X min and Z min. You click to next, you go and select the uh, overall uh, analysis, or in this case uh, the first one. And you select what type of boundary conditions, in this case ambient. If you choose velocity or static pressure, it must align with uh, the boundary conditions with, uh, with inlet velocity or pressure and you say finish and yes this is what i want to choose in terms of efd zooming please contact us at mecat support should you have any questions